Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you eight banger tricks that you can do with a kicker ramp as well as showing you different creative ways that you can use ramps just like the ones that I have here. So let's take a look. The first trick that we're going to be starting with is everybody's favourite. Whether you can do it or not, everyone loves a backflip. So I have the MTV Hopper Pro Ramp set up on this grass bank and the kicker is in its steepest position so it gives you extra air time and more height on your backflip because that's what everybody loves. Over this side of the hill we have a nice long landing slope which is perfect to send big tricks to and then behind us we have a nice long run up so you can get unlimited speed and send it to the moon. I wouldn't recommend trying a backflip straight on a setup like this if you haven't mastered it on a foam pit or resi but if you have got it dialed then definitely get your kicker out and send it on a setup like this because it's awesome. Trick number two, we're staying in the same location because it's just perfect for sending huge tricks like the 360 tail whip, which is very difficult, requires a lot of commitment and a lot of bravery. So for this trick, you need to have the 360 dialed and the tail whip, which I have taught you in previous videos, so if you haven't learned them, go check those videos out. Once you have both these tricks super dialed, you're now ready to, to combine them together and create the 360 tail whip. It's all about timing out of the ramp. I have the hopper ramp on the lowest setting because it's easier when the ramp's a bit flat. And I love this trick because it just looks amazing, it feels amazing, and it's helped me to win so many contests back in the day. This is trick number three and it's one of my personal favourites which is the wall ride and the reason that I love this trick is because the first time that I saw a photograph of someone riding a bicycle along a wall it just it doesn't sound right it shouldn't work but it does and it's made even better by using the portable kicker because you can get so much air time like I'm about to show you. Hopefully from those clips you can see exactly why I love wall rides and I'm now going to explain to you guys how to do a wall ride. So first things first, you want to find yourself a wall similar to this one, loads of space, good run up and plenty of space to exit. Then it's time to put your kicker into position. So it needs to be at an angle and if you're coming from the left, it wants to be where 10 o'clock on a clock face would be. And then if you're coming from the right, it wants to be where two o'clock would be. And this direction is determined by the way which you spin a 360. Pedaling at the jump, as you take off the ramp, tilt the bike to match the angle of the wall, otherwise you're going to slide. And also push the bike into the wall because once again this will stop you sliding. And it will also help you to get back off the wall. As you do that, pull the bike straight, absorb your landing, and roll off having smashed the wall ride. And then once you have your wall rides dialed, you can pull lines together just like this. Massive wall ride, 180, hot bar, that's the best ever. Let's move on to the next one. For trick number four, we're going to be creating an insane gap. And with a huge landing like this, oh, it's just crying out to be ridden. But the only problem is you are faced with this massive fence which is in the way. Not only that, there is also the most pointless downhill, uphill run up in the world, which is not ideal for gaining speed. However, we've overcome these problems because we have the hopper ramp set up in its steepest setting to just send you to the moon like this looks crazy it's so blind and scary and we're also on the e-bike which is going to help me to gain the speed that i need to make it over and send the gap i've driven past this bank so many times and wanted to send it i never have but today is finally the day so let's do it
number five, we're going to be transforming a spot. So we've come to my local pump track, which is great fun. There's some creative technical lines, but there's not much air time. So I've got the MTB Hopper Light kicker amp with me. This thing's awesome. You can build it up really quickly and then create even more lines, get some massive air time and then send some banger tricks. Okay, so this jump is the main sort of tabletop, but it's got a really flat lip. People have tried to make mud ones there and I don't know, it's not really worked. So what we're gonna do is put the hopper here and that's gonna unlock so many banger tricks, which I can't wait for. So, as you can see, the kicker has transformed this spot, enabling you to do tricks which would otherwise be impossible, like the backflip. Let's move on to the next one. For trick number six, we have come back to this perfect sandy spot, and we're going to be combining the backflip and the no-hander to create the backflip no-hander. Every time I see you, girl, it takes me to another world Where only sunshine fills like the sky The backflip is already an advanced trick and we're making it, we're taking it to that next level by taking your hands off upside down. Absolutely crazy. If you can't tuck no hander, you're going to need to learn. So head over to the video I made where you can learn to do tuck no handers. If you can tuck no hander and you can backflip, it's time to combine them together. So approach your ramp, pull for a backflip as you're upside down, pull the handlebars into your waist, spread those wings, extend them for as long as you dare put your hands back on and roll off having smashed this trick. It is a difficult one, but it is quite versatile and there's quite a few different places you can send it. Let's move to the next trick. For trick number seven, we have made our way to the bomb shelter and we're gonna create an on and off feature, which unlocks a whole new level of creative options. So let's take a look at the setup. So to start off, we have a nice long run up so that you can get unlimited speed at your ramp. And the ramp I'm using is the MTB Hopper Lite set up in the steepest option so it gives you loads of air time to float on top of the bomb shelter. Once you've sent it off your kicker you land up here where you have all this space to get creative. As you can see it's quite a nice size drop so what I've done is put the red MTB hopper ramp here to help break my fall and not break my ankles. Once you land it you then just roll off into the sunset. What I'm going to do now is show you three of my favourite lines on this kind of setup. That was so good. These kickers transform a spot. Who would have thought that a simple bomb shelter can be so much fun? Let's move on to the next spot. Trick number eight is the final, it's the banger. The scene is set. We've come back to this perfect spot. The sun is going down and this trick, it's insane. Let's check it out. So as you can see, trick number eight is the front flip. It's scary, it's a banger, it's difficult, and I don't expect you to go out there and send it. But if you've got a kicker amp and you can front flip, then why not find yourself a perfect spot just like this and you can send it. And it's honestly the best feeling. For the front flip, you actually pull back on the ramp, which is completely opposite to what you think. So as you come out the ramp, pull back slightly, push all your weight forward whilst locking the rear brake. This is what makes you go forward. Tuck your head behind the stem to make yourself nice and small. Huck it, enjoy it, it's the best feeling, and then ride away into the sunset, being stoked that you landed a front flip. 
So there we have it. That is my eight banger tricks that you can do pretty much anywhere with a kicker ramp. There was some quite difficult tricks in there, but you can also do way easier ones. And I've been making some tutorials up to this point of the easier tricks. So be sure to go onto my channel, check those out. They'll also be at the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you can do the tricks, I hope it's inspired you. If you can't, I hope you just enjoyed watching some bangers. Give us a thumbs up, leave some comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one.